Hello, family, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, Dale Chanel's 40th World. Good evening. We got an exclusive to talk about. So it ain't gonna be no wasting time. We just going right on in. <coughs> so when I have exclusives, that's what we gonna do. We gonna go on in. Did y'all hear about Wendy Williams from The Sun reported? And I'm a little late. I know I am. But I usually don't report too much on Wendy because it's such a delicate subject. But when I heard she was suing Wells Fargo, I said, what the hell is going on? And the first thing I thought was, oh my God, they're trying to claim that she done lost her mind. She can't do anything for herself. And that's why they're freezing her assets for, I guess, nobody to really take advantage of her or whatnot. And I said, honey, it's time for her baby son, her only son, to step up and show up and show out. He needs to be making, I guess, the majority of his mother's uh, financial decisions. Because it don't seem like nobody in her camp is really looking out for her. I know he's within his first or second year in college. But honey, sometimes you have to learn stuff real quick at a young age. And right now, they're screwing with Whitney. I mean Whitney, Lord. They screw with Whitney Houston, too. But they're trying to screw uh, Wendy Williams over. I know she's trying to milk everything out. But she don't have to come back to that <coughs> taping type format when it's in a live studio audience. And right now with the Ovid, ain't nobody trying to catch nothing like that. So they ain't really trying to be up in there. But... I know she had a contractual obligation, and this was supposed to be her last year. But, honey, to me, I think Wendy just riding that clock out using this medical, um, not saying it's not justified. But I think she's putting it at the forefront to get out of her contract in a way where she continues to stay and get well. And personally, I just want her to do a podcast. And that's something she can do. You know, what? she don't have to be on the screen looking pretty. She don't want to do that anymore. She can get on that mic, be a radio personality host, once again, starring her own self. But I know that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make her feel like she's incompetent. And they want to make her incompetent. And they want to put all these litigations and limitations on her. And they want somebody else to be able to uh, talk for her like she's not able to do so. Now, she's not really able to do so. Then, yeah, maybe. Uh, but I think they need to consult her son. Because we know she ain't about to go try to have her husband do anything with her money. I mean, she really will be going crazy then, all right? But dementia, it can creep up on a person, even uh, people in my age group. Uh, people younger than me. It's just something happens to your um, body. Uh, or in the stress level that you're under. And it could be hereditary as well. But honey. That conservative ship. Do y'all remember Casey Caton. And uh, Ava Gabor. Or Eva Gabor. Y'all know y'all know Britney. Okay Britney Spears. And her husband. I mean her husband. But her dad and mom had her under that conservative ship. Going around spending all her money. And having her held up in a house. Or wherever she was. And. They were telling her how to go, come, how to win and wear and all that kind of stuff. And she just got free, y'all. But I don't know if that was too much of a good thing. Because she might start doing, you know, shaving her head and running around with an umbrella and all this kind of stuff. But I'm pretty sure, hopefully, somebody gave her a uh, medical workover to make sure she couldn't do these. These are the people I'm talking about, Casey Caden and a Eva Gabor. And I think that lady... From Star Trek, that black lady, Commander Azur, or somebody like that. But you know, the black pretty lady that um, they tried to put uh, Captain Kirk and her together at one time. So if you're a Star Trek fan, y'all, I think Lieutenant Horora, I think her name was, the black lady. Um, they're getting her on conservatorship and somebody's trying to uh, protest that. I think her son is trying to take her money or something to the effect. I read it a while ago. But I didn't really want to do a video on it because I know most people are not Star Trek Trekkie, Trekkie fans. So, um, yeah. But let's get on into this article that the Sun, US, the US Sun had put out um, exclusively on today, actually. All right. But um, it says, I'm well Wendy Williams demands Wells Fargo unfreeze assets at bank sites 
financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence. Okay, just like I said, but let's see if they talk about anything concerning conservatorship or guardianship. Okay, it says, um, Wendy57, who has been absent from her daytime talk show since the end of last season in July of 2021, is asking the court for an emergency order requiring Wells Fargo unfreeze her accounts with them. Okay, Wendy Williams sued Wells Fargo after they froze her asset site and she was found unsound mind. And I'm like, what? The daytime host has not appeared on her show since 2021 is at their sighting. But in, in the filing, it goes, Wendy asserts that Wells Fargo is in possession of several million dollars worth of funds belonging to the alien host or ailing host. And she has been denied access to her funds for more than two weeks. Her attorney alleges that Wendy, former financial advisor, advised the bank that Wendy was was of unsound mind and that Wells Fargo has denied her access to her bank accounts and statements. And I'm like, did Wendy fire this person that was her um, financial advisor and they just getting back at her and trying to make her go all through these hoops and and and, and uh, tests and stuff because she seems like Wendy has definitely put a notice out. She ain't talking to nobody for no reason. They can go through her manager if they want to talk to her. But it seems like her manager need to be going down to that courthouse as well. Or maybe with the a filing of um, her suing Wells Fargo, maybe he did do something to that effect. So we're going to give him credit for now until we hear otherwise. But going back into the article, it said her attorney alleges um, that Wells Fargo has has denied her access to her bank accounts and statements. Well, Fargo has justified its decision to keep Wendy's account frozen by referencing it authority under various client agreements to pause or reject instructions for a proposed transaction pending judicial or administrative remedies should they, su should they suspect financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence the petition claim. The host legally Legal's team claims that the bank has overreached in its authority in part because Wendy has not proposed any transactions which should give the bank the discretion to pause or reject access to her accounts. And I'm like, that is so true because how is, how is Wendy going to live? She got to eat. She got to have shelter. She got to have uh, access to medical care because she's not well. You know, how is she going to pay these folks? They going to take stipends or something? <laughs> Like, see, that's what I'm saying. These bank entities are getting too far up everybody's asses and want to charge these outrageous fees when we do something wrong, like bounce a check or have insufficient funds in there or whatnot. They want to do that already. Now they want to say, because somebody else says something, that they have, you know, total rights. I'm like, when did, since last year, was having these issues with her medical condition. Okay, Je what is it, June and July, when it, she was like uh, spazzing out or whatever, going to the hospital. Shouldn't they have frozen her accounts last year sometime? They're going to wait till the new year come, and they're going to start some shit. I said, we already got over that hill. Can't nobody really go nowhere that's really sideline and body and don't really want to be fooling with you know the sickness and stuff and sometimes we get it and we don't even know it and we're not even really out there such as myself you know i really am definitely cautious of where i go where i come when and when and where you know what i'm saying and i still ended up getting it okay i ain't out in these streets i ain't partying, ain't doing none of that i'm working going home tending to my business going to the grocery store and, and the bank and you know get my hair done because i'm you know i'm trying to dread my hair and other things so i only go like two every two months you know what i'm saying so i'm like what what is going on the, the banks are just not safe anymore y'all the banks are just not safe so y'all better go dig y'all a hole or get y'all a bunker a tin can or something to the effect because i mean even the fdic or federal drug something not federal drug but federal what do you call it department it's something dealing with the bank. No, FDIC. Federal. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't think of it right now. That's usually how it comes when I'm taping. But they can only sure, I think, up to 250000 So, anything over that, 
it, you, it could be lost. You know what I'm saying? Now I see why these folks be going to the Cayman Islands and everything else trying to put their money somewhere where, you know, the government don't know too much or the bank institutions. Because even if you today got awarded money from an accident or somebody died and left you a lot of money and you go trying to like do the right thing and put it in your bank account until you want to know what you really want to do with it. Do you want to invest in it? Do you want to go blow through it all? Do you want to buy it? You know what I'm saying? And they want to know where the money came from. Like you done stole it or something. Are you doing some illegal drug transaction? Like where you get this money from? Well, can we see where you got it from? Do you have any paperwork? You know, I'm like, damn. You might just go on and just take the, you know, like, because you could. It's just a hot mess how this world on got. But that's just my spin and my spiel on how these banks have definitely overreached their boundaries on when and where we could do something just because other people out there doing illegal things and and trying to watch money all this laundering money all this kind of stuff regular people everyday people you know we don't do all that so why should we get questioned everybody know wendy williams you know talk show host talk show gossip host everybody know her she making her money legitly i mean you didn't have no problem with her before now you're gonna cite her as you know unstable mind body and soul are you really kidding me now Okay, we're going back to the article. It said um, her attorney is seeking court orders by allowing her access to her financial accounts, access and statements while her dispute with Wells Fargo is resolved in arbitration. Okay, the petition alleged that Wells Fargo is in breach of their fiduciary duty and that the host is suffering intimate and irreparable financial damage. Okay. The host team is demanding the bank give access to Wendy and her agents, members, officers, employees, representatives, and anyone else acting on respondents' behalf within 48 hours. Damn, that means her staff currently now is not getting paid. See, that's some bullshit. I don't know whoever did this shit, but Wendy need to get them, and I mean get them good, okay? And freeze their accounts for at least a month and see how they fare. Okay, that's that's really messed up. Then they tied it up. What's wrong with Wendy? As the Sun previously reported, the daytime presenter has been battling a health crisis for some time. Okay, the sources say it. The once witty, sharp host of the Wendy Williams show isn't the same as she used to be as she battles multiple medical conditions or problems. And she, you know, she got personal shit going on. Her ex-husband, you know, did what he did and nobody can't get over that. Hell, she probably take that to the grave. You know what I'm saying? Because that's some, that's some foul shit. And then, uh, you know, having an a outside baby, you know, leaving her to go with the woman. And then taking some of her money with him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, go away. Why don't you already? Oh, she could send him to the moon. I think she would do that, guys. Or well, hell, I would if I could, you know. If I could. Okay, Um, but um, it says a source close to the show told the son the spark is gone. That Wendy, who for 10 years had that spark in her eyes, that cheeky grin, and that little wink is not the same now. The insider added some days are better, are better than others for the once feisty daytime diva. She's not always functioning like she used to uh, be, but she has days where she needs help eating, getting out of bed, and getting dressed. Okay, sometimes she goes out in a robe and without shoes on. The old Wendy would never have allowed herself to be seen out like that. I don't know, cause we did before Wendy. Uh, Wendy did get call herself uh, getting out of touch with reality, or just didn't want to do the show no more. However, you see it, she was walking around him half naked. You know what I'm saying? She was walking, cause we were trying to figure out why the hell she was doing that. But she was well, and she wasn't in no hospital at the time. I mean, she had two episodes where she got herself walking with some hospital um, socks on and the other time. But Wendy says she got it like that. She don't have to do all that that normal people uh, do because she's not normal. <laughs> she don't build her empire so she can look however she want to do. She can look disheveled one day and she can look snatched another. Okay, it just depends on how she's feeling. Okay, but we have to give her some break here. You know, we already know what I just said about uh, her husband cheating, getting the outside baby and taking her money. Well, guess what? Her mother passed. Has she really had the opportunity to really grieve? And, and you know, she said she didn't go to the funeral. Don't know why. So she's handling a lot of personal relationships along with her medical conditions that she's definitely going through. So, I mean, shouldn't we all give her the benefit of the doubt and including Wells Fargo? Could Wells Fargo not have had a conversation? 
Could they have not have had a conversation with Wendy Williams? I'm sure it's some high exec up in the banking institution at Wells Fargo can definitely sit and say, yeah, um, we can do that for her, especially if there are transactions she makes on a monthly basis. Now, I can see if she going around buying, you know, expensive jewelry and stuff, and it's just out of her uh, caliber of doing so. But everyday, ordinary stuff each month, like shelter, food, clothing. Okay, I don't think she needs, you know, probably no clothing because she ain't going nowhere. But hell, it's her money. She should be able to do what she wants. She want to buy a damn new toilet commode, a gold toilet commode. If she's still in that way, she's still in that way. That's her money. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong for thinking this. Maybe I'm right. Who knows? But y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this trash and mess. Okay, that they taking Wendy through. And that's not going to be good for her health. By her worrying about she can't get her money. That means she can't eat. She can't order food. She can't use the, uh, the Uber to bring her food. She can pay them a nice tip or whatever. She can't pay her uh, people that's working for her right now. It's just crazy. But anyway, uh, moving on from that. They say even more heartbreaking. The source added that she doesn't always recognize people whom she known for years. There are people who Wendy knows who have worked closely with her. And there are days that she has no idea who they are. A second source close to Wendy's family told the son that fans shouldn't expect a video address from the host. At least for not now. She really can't do a video. She's been having a hard time holding a conversation. The insider alleges that while things appear to have gotten worse in recent months, she was struggling with her recollection while she was on the show too. She was forgetting things on the show, a lot of information on stories, celebrities, names. That's why she would lean on producers to help feed her information. And I'm like, hell, if that was the case, why y'all didn't shut her money down then? Why y'all didn't freeze her assets then? But y'all let her go on the same stuff that y'all trying to bring up on her face now. That she um she can't do this and she can't do that. Well, who were doing it for her then? Okay? When all this stuff was coming out on her last year. But she had the card to do whatever she wanted to do and the power and the discretion. But you're going to play with her now? This year? That's bullshit. But anyway, uh, that goes and talk about when Wendy was hospitalized. The son was first to report that Wendy had been transported to a New York hospital in September of 2021 following a 911 call. Uh, for a person in need of psychiatric services. Soon after, the daytime show, uh, talk show host quietly hired a uh, crisis public relations manager. Meanwhile, the Wendy Williams show would uh, release four statements between September 9th and October 12th, blaming her absence from her show and any other promotional duties, a breakthrough COVID case, un un ongoing medical issues, and symptoms from Graves' disease. Um... And they said on November 8th, the show's Instagram released a statement from the 57-year-old host saying she was still coping with the health issues as a woman of a certain age. She knew uh, to listen to her doctors and that right now, Wendy has to focus on Wendy. It was on the only statement that purportedly came from Wendy since the start of the season. Troubling incidents. The sign exclusive exclusively reported earlier that the week at the start of the pandemic lockdown in 2020 the host allegedly struggled with her addictions issues were sp uh, spiraled into a dark and troubling incident in may of that year just before the host team uh claimed she was hospitalized for grace disease that month uh wendy experienced a disturbing episode with a handful of people present as she was working from home um, according to sources, Wendy's manager was summoned to her penthouse apartment after she had appeared unwell <coughs> during a Zoom show taping early in the week. Her manager and a small group of uh, confidants arrived to the host's home to lead support or lend support to the struggling um, talk show queen. According to multiple sources, Wendy had stripped naked in her room and was shouting vulgar comments. The host was eventually taken to the hospital where she would remain for weeks. Okay. Reps for the Wendy and the William Wendy. Ah, reps for the for Wendy and the William Wendy. Ah, I'm tongue tied. Reps for Wendy and the Wendy Williams show did not respond to the son's multiple requests for comment. Then they're asking, will she return? In 13 seasons, this is the longest the host has been off air, and she has yet to address fans in any real way since the show went on summer break on in July 12th of 21. As Wendy's fans continue to hope it, that she will return to the host, the remainder of the season, the Wendy Williams show was announced that the roster 
uh, filling gas hosts will continue throughout the end of January. Meanwhile, there has been no uh, 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 announcement on the possibility of the show being renewed for another season. Okay. And then, it, I mean, it's just it's crazy that they're doing her this way. Because I'm like, even in 2020, she was having problems then. Why you didn't freeze her account? She was having problems in 2021. Why you didn't freeze her account? Now, two years later, in the new year, you're going to start shit with her and freeze stuff? I'm like, Kevin, I know you're in uh, college now, but you better get up in now and be your mother's conservative. Uh, well, not, not enter in her into conservative shield, but be her guardian. You are of age, so you could take that role because she got... Wendy, your mama got a lot of snakes around her. Okay, they trying to make up stuff on her now. That's what I really believe. Uh, because this is ridiculous. If she was that incapable, she should have found to be incompetent in 2020. When they was putting all this stuff out on her. And now they want to do pay, poor baby girl like that. Now, child, please let the Lord take the wheel on this one. Because this is just too much. It's too much. And I, I know people going to say, well, it's her karma. It, well, people don't need to be done that way. They may dig other people bad, but, you know, let the Lord handle that, you know. But hey, we need food, shelter, and clothing up in here. And she might not need the clothing. But she sure need the shelter and food. Okay, that's a necessity. That is a need, not a want. So hopefully somebody will shed some light soon. Uh, and hopefully... We get Wendy uh, the help she needs, both financially and, you know, her medical conditions be handled as well. So, we all just need to keep prayers up for Wendy. Uh, even her haters need to be praying for her because somebody always pray for the haters too as well, okay? But I just feel so sorry about that, guys. I just, I feel, ugh, I really feel torn that, you know, I knew what she was doing for her living, you know. But, hey, that's what she's been doing uh what 15 plus years or 20 plus years and she's definitely had her uh fanatics or followers or viewers or fans or however y'all want to look at yourselves when you're watching her stuff and, and you're tuning in every week or every time there's a news break on her you know don't she deserve to have uh food shelter and clothing okay I'm like, this is ridiculous. That's why I said, uh-uh, honey. This is a great example for us all. Don't put your trust in no banking institution. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't put all your money in no bank. And you better be careful with all those 401ks. You know, when you're, you're putting money into these different diverse uh, or five accounts and you don't know what these accounts really are because they might do another Enron scam on our behalf and take all our money that we just went all haphazardly uh, just putting you no know, money in the bank or we thought you know we had money in the bank investing real well and hopefully if we live long enough to receive that money towards retirement or an emergency fund you know that we can use off of it here and there it may or may not be there you know what I'm saying it's just like paying the stock market or, or cars or gambling but those who see, see, those who hear, hear what I'm trying to say. But anyway, y'all, y'all get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this issue with them trying to strip her down butt naked. And ain't giving her nothing to, to be excited about getting butt naked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're getting butt naked, you're washing your behind. Or you're finna get ready to do some bumping in the sheets. Or you're going home to your maker, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Ah, like serve it up if you're gonna serve it right. But don't don't send a lady out there with no clothes on. Don't don't do her like that. That's just piss poor as for humanity or a human being. You don't want it done to you that way, so don't do it to nobody else. But alright, y'all. I'll see y'all next video. Take care.